it was incredible hearing the news and the fact and the way the picture was painted that U.S. Navy SEALs risking their life took Bin Laden out. It reminded me right away of the first responders on the day of 9-11 who ran into the buildings and died performing their sworn duty. There's something about that sacrifice that, that we have as Americans that unite us even 10 years later. There's an amazing level of gratitude that you really can never express. And um, I guess I'm just proud to be an American. And um, very, very proud of our country. We're three lifelong best friends, and um, we usually go camping in West Virginia, but we decided to come to New York this year for our girlfriend trip. And we're lucky enough to uh, wake up this morning to the news that Osama bin Laden's dead, and we happen to be in one of the best places to celebrate that. We were going to go to the Statue of Liberty today, so we're going to go to the, uh, the World Trade Center site first, and then we're going to go celebrate our liberty and freedom at the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. I could say for myself, we're working down here on September 11th, that it feels good today to know that bin Laden is no more. It's been a long time coming. The guy murdered 3,000 people, and uh, he got what was coming to him. He got what was coming to him. And we actually were able to speak to him that morning. We got very lucky. We, he called and we were able to at least not so much say goodbye, but just tell him to be safe. He was in the South Tower, they think, probably around the 40th floor. They found him three months afterwards. It's not over. It's never going to be over. There's always a threat of terrorism. But right now we can sleep a little easier knowing that he's gone. He's gone.